Hey guys, Waterfaller41 here, and today we're going to be giving my GMC Sierra a facelift. So what we're going to be doing is swapping out this grill center section. So this portion of the grill with Grill Crafts MX Series Mesh Grill. So I got it over here. This is the back of it. Let's flip it over. So in essence, what this does is replaces the center section. So not for the faint of heart, because this modification does require you to cut out that center section. So basically, once you start cutting, there's no turning back. But, um, you know, I'm kind of over the boring old square look. But the other reason why I want to update the center of the section is going to this mesh grill gives me the ability to mount one more light bar just above my 32-inch light bar in there. So, obviously, I'm going to get more light out of the front of the truck, and that's going to be nice, when, uh, especially now in the so, winter. So, what we're going to be doing is cutting out this center section. So, we're going to take my roto zip, and we're going to run it all along here all the way around the grill and then this center section just to pop right out. And then this will take its place. And this gets pushed in from the front and then there's mounting tabs all along the sides of it that you're gonna be using to affix it to the, the OEM uh, surround. So all of the, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven tabs where you're gonna be mounting it to. And then it uses just a couple screws, self-tapping metal screws and some little, uh, uh, metal, uh, I guess, bolts for lack of a better term, that it's going to be screwing into. So again, this requires you to cut out that center section of the grill, and then it requires you to drill holes along the outside, or the inside edge of the OEM surround. So there's about a billion videos on YouTube on how to remove the grill off the trucks. So I'm not going to film that, but uh, you know, we'll follow up real quick with uh, once we get the grill out of the truck. I'll show you kind of the walkthrough of how we're going to install the grill crab grill. A quick rundown of how easy it is to take off the grill and all the ancillary stuff around it so you can get the grill off. So in essence, you got some torque screws in here. So you're going to have one here and one on the fender wall lining. Then you're going to have a 7 millimeter bolt here and then one tucked up inside here. Once you remove those four screws, then you're going to be able to pull the front bumper trim off. So that's the lower bumper trim there. Do the same thing on both sides. Then you go up underneath the truck and there's going to be one, two, three, four tabs underneath, and then this whole piece should just pop right out. After that, then we're gonna pop open the hood and undo all the push tabs up on top. That way we could get access to the, I think there's four bolts on top. And then once this is removed, you have access to the bolts there, and then the whole grill surround should just pop right out. All right, so we got the grill removed from the truck. Pretty simple, four bolts on the top, one on each side, and then, let's see, two on the bottom. and it, to get that little fascia trim piece, it was actually six tabs, so one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, but again, everything's pretty simple. There's a billion videos on YouTube on how to remove that. So I won't go into too much detail on that. But now that we got the grill off, the next step is to remove this back plate here. So it's going to be all these seven millimeter bolts. So there's a bunch of them on here. So we're going to go ahead and hook everything up to the drill so it's a little bit quicker. Now the one thing I will say, I didn't say this. When I started, let me see here. Now, because we're going to be removing the grill insert, that also means that the logo is going to uh, go bye-bye for now. Now, fortunately, this is a pretty easy uh, emblem to relocate. And since we're working with mesh, it should be pretty easy to find a new home for it. Uh, that'll come in a later video for now. I just want to get the grill on the truck. It's a little too cold outside to be dicking around with this. Um, but again, Ultimately, I will be removing it from the grill insert here and retrofitting it out of the MX series. But for now, we're just going to kind of cut everything out here and get the MX series installed. Um, and then at a later date, we'll go ahead and tackle the rest of it. Now, I did mention that I'm one of the intents or one of the game plans behind why I went to this grill versus any other one is because it's going to leave this whole area open. I won't have any obstacles in the way. So what I could do is stack up another light bar up on top of this guy so I can have two. And I got one sitting underneath my workbench over there. So, uh, you know, in a couple weeks here, I'm going to lower this one a little bit. And then I'll add a second one right on top of it. And with this grill, you no longer need this section. So you can also cut that off. It's optional. You'll see it through the mesh grill. So I um, haven't decided yet, but I'll probably just go ahead and zip this out. You could always replace it so it's bolted on the bottom. And then you can always throw a screw or a bolt in the top here. But since we're going to be cutting out that center section, we don't need to mount to this anymore. That's what the original grill 
insert the centerpiece was held to. So, like I said, next thing we're gonna do is remove the, oh boy, I'm about to lose my box. We're gonna remove this section, and then we're gonna go back on the front and mask up all the chrome so we don't scratch it, and then we're gonna start cutting out the center section, and it's downhill from there. All right, so we got the grill masked off. It's not pretty, but it, it'll work. So basically, one of the lessons learned on this one is take the tape, push it, the non-sticky side in here, that way you can get it wedged down right in the corner, and then you can start tapping and, and pushing it into place. But again, not the prettiest job, but really the only intent of that masking tape is just to make sure you're not nicking the chrome when you're going through everything. So next thing we're gonna do is use a handy dandy roto zip or a multi-max tool, and I'm gonna use that to cut out the black uh, insert portion. And just while we got it here, in case you're wondering how the emblem comes off, it's basically it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven tabs, and then you got these two screws. So my thought is you could take it, all these tabs out, you could crack them off, that way it sits flush, and you leave these here, and then you could use these as mounting posts for the mesh, and then you could just take a screw and put it on there. That should be enough to hold the emblem on, and all your chrome is in there. If you had the time and the patience, instead of cutting this out with the chrome insert attached, you could go through, unbolt everything, and unsnap it out of here. These snaps are pretty beefy. So it will take uh, quite a while to do it, but you could pull this chrome piece off and then you, you'll just be dealing with the black piece. But in the interest of time and with masking it off, I think we'll be all right. All right, quick public safety announcement on this one. This stuff cuts like butter, but it also throws uh, shards of plastic everywhere once you start cutting it. I know because it's the same material as the back of the headlight. And if you watch those videos, you see that my face got covered in the uh, plastic uh, uh, shavings. So do yourself a favor, definitely wear uh, safety glasses when you're using power tools on this stuff. Nobody wants to lose an eye when they're working on a truck. That's kind of a dumb reason to lose your eye. So let's throw our safety glasses on and start hacking away. All right, so the grill is cut out and we're left with just the chrome piece. I'm gonna go through and clean up some of these little areas here. It doesn't need to be perfect because there's a little bit of a lip on that mesh grill. I mean, not much, but something. And that should conceal a lot of this stuff. Plus it all, it's all black, it's gonna get lost in the corners. But yeah, let me get the, the tape off here, go through and clean it up and then we'll start the next step here. We're gonna go ahead and work on drilling the holes or the pile of holes for the mesh surround. Now this is really hard to do one-handed, so I'll give you a rundown of what I do and then I'll come back and show you the result. But in essence, what you're looking to do, the top and the bottom tabs, you want these, that tab there, push as far back to the edge of the chrome as possible. And you want the tops to do the same. And then after those are mounted, you could go back through and adjust the depth of the grill based on the sides. So we're gonna mount that, all the bottom screws, as far back on the chrome as we can. Same thing with the top, and then we'll go back and do the sides in a little bit. But really, once you lay the grill, once you lay the mesh inside the grill cutout, uh, it really falls right into place. I got some tape there just kinda holding things. But it's a very, very clean fit, it's, and it's a very finished look. So I'm going to go through and drill the holes for the bottom, get that mounted, and then the sides will be a little bit easier to deal with. Drill insert installed. So just to kind of give you an idea, it took, I would say, about a half hour, once everything's cut out, to get everything side lined up. But like the instructions say, they said mount the top and the bottom ones first and as far back as possible. So you got three along the bottom, two along the top. 
Um, and they kind of center up with the holes. That middle one centers up with right here, kind of frame of reference. And then use the one on each side to give you your depth. So once you get those top ones mounted, you go ahead and temporarily throw the screws in there. Then you can pull this back, you can mark it with a marker, and then uh, drill your hole and go ahead and do it. Now they say use a quarter inch drill bit. Uh, I think that hole's a little too big, so you can get away with a little bit smaller. As long as your measurements or your, uh, where you're spotting the holes and your marks are pretty spot on, you shouldn't have an issue. The quarter inch probably gives you some room for play. But ultimately, I'm pretty, uh, I'm pretty happy with the, uh, how it turned out. So you got the little grill craft emblem there. And like I said, my ultimate goal is to take the emblem off of the stock grill and get that on here somewhere. Uh, pulling off those tabs and then just using the, 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 the kind of the alignment uh, pins, we could put a screw on the back of those and that'll hold it pretty flush. In here. Anyway, let's go ahead and get it thrown on the truck and then I'll give you one last overview. And the instructions say this is optional, but if you remember, there was a piece, let's see, hanging down like this right in the middle. And that was what your grill attached to. <clears throat> but since we no longer have that big heavy grill, we don't need that. So what that's gonna do is kinda give us a nice finished look behind it. So you're just gonna see those cross braces. You're not gonna see this big ugly piece of plastic hanging there with basically nothing mounted to it. But what that also does is frees up a ton of room to mount another light bar. So we could put another light bar right up here. And I think that's gonna be my game plan. Maybe take advantage of these mounting bolts here. Uh, but that's in due time. Uh, again, this is just to do the grill tonight. So let's go ahead and throw that grill up in there and just repeat the instructions for buttoning everything up. Fortunately, we ran all the lights, so you're kind of getting a crappy view of it, but everything's installed. So the other thing, I know the instructions say it's optional to cut off that piece of plastic in the back, but I almost think it's mandatory because it really does clean up the back of the look. And since you're already kind of at the point of no return with that grill, you don't need that portion anymore. So um, it's definitely worth cutting off that top plastic piece that's on the truck so it gives you that clean look once the grill is installed. Um, but again, everything was pretty easy to go back and forth or to go back on. Once you put that in the beginning, you remember we took the backing off of the grill so we can get to the grill shell itself. When you put that backing back on, there's a bunch of weather stripping on there. Make sure that weather stripping is tucked in properly. I put the grill on and then I had to take it off because I saw some of the weather stripping got caught. So. Um, you know, take your time, look around, kind of keep your eye out for the weather stripping on there. But overall, very happy with it. It definitely gives me now the ability to throw another light bar back there and get almost 100% of the light coming out of the truck. Now, the other thing I did do is pull off my stock emblem off of the old grill. So it's just tabs, some needle nose pliers are easy to pull it off. So what I'm going to do is trim down all the flat tabs and then just leave the pegs there. And then what you could do is take bolts or nuts that are sized for that, basically self-tapping nuts. Um, and you could basically center this on there and then mount everything in there. So anyway, very happy with it. Grill crafted a good job on this one. Pretty simple grill. I'm not a big fan of all the billet grills out there that had the, uh, the screws all around it. I like something nice and sleek. And again, my main intent was this, was to put a clear grill on there so I could have um, my light bar shine through. So this is definitely knocking out my goal here. Uh, but at the same time, you know, I think it does look good. These come in silver as well, and then also in a stainless steel, so probably a brushed look. But uh, again, Grillcraft, the MX series, I'll put the part number and a link to it down in the description. But other than that, thanks for watching.